Hi and welcome back to a new video and again another week vlog even though it will not be an entire week probably like three or four days we are currently on the way to Sweden and uh, we're going to visit Sweet Cloggers and also Trigono so Trigono is also a PC store that belongs to the Case King Empire and uh, they sent me a message a few days or weeks ago and they asked me if I wanted to participate in a very very interesting exhibition it's probably going to be the tiniest exhibition I would ever participate in I guess and also the, the only one that's kind of moving yeah very weird but you will find out so right now in Berlin and on the way to Sweden I, I hope you enjoy my new uh, hand luggage it's beautiful Finally made it to the hotel room. Yeah, yep. Um, I, I will take the upper bed. Yeah, lucky we still have the other one. We are now on the way to a medieval restaurant, so that should also be quite entertaining. And tomorrow we are going to hop, because I think I already put it in the title of the video, we're going to hop in a hardware ferry. So it's a quite obscure story and we got invited to this like hardware ferry. I'm not quite sure who came up with this idea. It must be some Swedish thing because I think they have some rather high taxes on alcohol. And then they thought, hey, if we go on like the international, I don't know how it's called, like international sea, where you don't have to follow the taxes, then we can have some cheap drinks and at the, and at the same time look at some hardware. So that should be quite entertaining and that's how I think they ended up with this idea. Stockholm's largest selection of meat. Okay. All right, so it's uh, next morning. The food was good. It's uh, it was like medieval food, and uh, they prepared the food in a way like you would have done it 100 years ago or like several hundred years ago, like no potatoes and stuff. But it was quite tasty. It was quite, was quite tasty. Now it's just way too early, and uh, I feel I feel like a flower. But the flower you forgot to water for like two weeks, <laughs> and we're on the way to sweet crackers now. You could probably compare it to like. I don't know, Tech Power Up, um, some review outlets, they're also doing um, YouTube content, mainly on Swedish, I think, though. And I think we are also meant to shoot a video together, at least that was the original plan. And I hope that's at least going to be in English, otherwise it's going to be quite interesting. But that's the plan for now. Geeks looks like the correct place. We made it now at uh, Sweet Clockers. Geeks on the wall, but what I really enjoy and really like is I mean, it's it's like a review outlet, it's pretty similar to like Hardware Lux, like Tom's Hardware. They're testing hardware whenever it comes to the market right now. New Intel CPUs, probably. You can see I'm not wearing any shoes, so it's a very comfortable place, and they're trying to make it feel like home. And it really feels like it feels like entering a house, like somebody lives here, you have a kitchen, you have a, a nice living room. That's where they're testing a lot of new games and consoles and stuff. Yeah, it's very relaxing. Typically in this area they would probably have a lot more consoles. Currently I can only spot a few Xboxes. Usually they would have probably plenty of PS5s and things like that here. But most of this is already on the, on the mothership because that's how the event is going to be called. Where we're going, the hardware ferry. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just so obscure. But Sweet Clockers is also a part of the organization team of this event, and that's why most of the equipment is there. Because apparently you can also play games and stuff there. That's what we're def definitely going to to see once we make it to the mothership. The plan is inside the studio that we're going to do some kind of soft drink tasting, I assume. And I, I also brought some German sweets to the Sweet Clockers. I know that these days you can probably get any sweets anywhere, but could still be quite entertaining. And I also found the most important things, 4090 cards. 
It's also the first time that I have the tough gaming in my hands. Yeah, very, 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 very impressive cards. And over here, that is the Sweet Clockers YouTube studio, basically. That's also the only setup I really know of them, even though, I mean, the content is in Swedish, so I can't really follow it, but, I, but at least I know their setup. I know what they're doing and uh, that's pretty cool. You might recognize this from the Ryzen 30 launch back then. AMD sent out these to some review outlets, so yeah. Good amount of collectibles they have here. That's one of the collectibles Intel sent out for the 13th gen. It's funny though, because they sent it to me, I never unpacked it. <laughs> Sorry Intel, <laughs> I was only interested in the CPUs, but apparently I should also have this at home. Der Bauer. Der Bauer with us uh, today for uh, some less clockish. Well, uh, how do you say uh, cheers in... Skål. Skål? Let's try this one out. This one is... That's amazing. We now arrived at something that you could probably call a port. I'm not quite sure, harbor, but uh, at least there is a big boat, a big ship. I think that's not our ship though, that should be the Gabriella, at least if I go by the name. What I find quite nice though is that they called it Viking Line. <laughs> that's pretty in line for being a Swedish uh, company. I think we have about one hour left and then we should do boarding. Now finally boarding on the way to our ship and you can also see because you can drive in from the front with your car so that's probably the difference to like a cruise ship because this is still a ferry in the end. Yeah, definitely on the correct ship. While the partners like Trigono, like HyperX, and uh, like AOC, Philips, Western Digital, all of them are still assembling their stuff downstairs, we sneaked all the way up onto the ship and uh, we are on the helicopter. Probably some emergency landing space, I don't know. It's pretty beautiful up here. And typically this ferry is operating between uh, Sweden and Finland, so it's going from Sweden to from Stockholm to an island which is close or either to I think Helsinki in uh, in Finland. And do you know what else is in Finland? Hetzner. Hetzner is a leading hosting provider and data center operator in Europe with hundreds of thousands of servers in operation. By combining its strengths in innovative technology, attractive prices and expert customer service, Hetzner expanded its marketing both within and outside Europe. They operate their very own high-tech data centers in Nuremberg and Falkenstein, both located in Germany and in Helsinki, Finland. Hetzner not only provides high-performing cloud servers at an affordable price, but also incredibly powerful dedicated servers, capable of handling any project. Aside from these products, you can also get high-quality storage products and a variety of other services. Click on the link below to dive into Hetzner's portfolio. Generally though, Sweden, beautiful country, Stockholm, also a very beautiful city. We had a lot of fun last night and yeah, I wish we had more time to further see the city, but I think it's probably better to just come here a day in summer and then enjoy it a bit more. Because honestly, right now in Germany, it's not like we have a heat wave, but for end of October, it's just much warmer in Germany than expected. And right here, outside, it's a bit windy and it's about one or two degrees Celsius, which is definitely not too warm and that's why I'm also going to go back inside in a few seconds but yeah very very beautiful view just going to enjoy this for a couple more minutes nice amusement park ahead there's I think also the like the old city part of Stockholm so far a very nice journey just a quick room tour of our cabin yep that's it Oh, 
So right now that is how the booth of Trigono looks like and uh, we have like extra fi, we have height cases here, we have some super flower PSUs, Lian Lee cases in the back and what I personally find really nice is actually this system right here. That case is made from CSFG as you can see. And the name means Creative Solutions for Gamers. And it's fully made in EU, it's made in Poland, and that's something I personally absolutely want to support. There are basically two versions, it's the Crow and also the Tower of Doom. What we have on the left is the Crow. So as you can see, it comes with dual distro plates and dual pump housings, so for D5 pumps. And that's exactly what it looks like. The creator of this, he said that whenever he buys a GPU, because it's obviously the most expensive part of systems nowadays, he just wants to have this in the focus of his system, I think. He achieved what he wanted to achieve because it's just very present in the center. And I like the, the symmetry of this case with like one dissipate on the left and one on the right with the, uh, with the radiator sitting left and right. It's obviously perfect for dual loop. And you can see you have radiators on the left and the right. And actually, if you check out this, it would go in there 90 degrees rotated. But it's just a mod for display. But the feedback he got from also me and all the other people that stopped by is that actually this looks so much better than having it 90 degree rotated. So afterwards, after this exhibition, he will probably just offer this in addition as well. So yeah. Very nice uh, piece of tech, what we can see right here. I found it from till uh, Jonas coming back. So, cool to see all of you here. I am quite nervous. We did a quick stop here at Wessen Digital. As I pointed out, we have multiple um, exhibitors here on the ship and Wessen Digital is one of them. And we just had a very nice talk about hard drives. And even though they might not be that relevant anymore for the desktop market, it's still a fascinating product, especially if you see something like this, that they nowadays manage to pack 22 terabyte onto this size where, I don't know, back in the days you had like 80 gigabytes and now it's 22 terabytes, so it's still quite fascinating. And there was one question I asked one of the WD staff, that's something that at least floats around once in a while in the German PC community, I'm not quite sure how it's internationally, but there is often the rumor that you should not cool your HD too much. And I asked him like, so what's the thing if you go to, let's say, too close, as close to the room uh, temperature as possible. And he said, as long as you stay within spec, obviously everything is fine. And actually staying closer to room temperature is better than staying too far away. Because when they are made, tolerances, it's a mechanical drive in the end. They have bearings inside, all the mechanics. If you stay closer to room temperature, definitely it's going to be better long-term for the lifetime of your drive. And what I also found quite interesting is uh, the box behind me. So there's a comparison of like a WD blue and a WD uh, purple drive. And you can see how those drives act differently. That one drive, the, the blue drive is made for 50-50, so read-write. And the purple is made for 95% uh, write and only a very small portion of read. Because obviously if it's, let's say, surveillance and you're recording a lot of camera footage, it's writing all day long. And you might only for a very small portion try to read out of there so that could be a difference when you select your hard drive.
taking a quick break right now and it's an amazing event it's with the location like it's it's so so strange that we are on a ship especially if we are on the conference floor that's the ninth floor right now we are on the tenth floor which is like the where all the cabins are but it, it's so strange that everything is on a ship essentially it's it's dark outside even if I would look outside the window what I'm trying to say is that it's an amazing event but I still don't get why it's on a ship <laughs> because you don't even notice it it's like you can feel it once in a while that it's moving a little bit but if you're on the conference floor you're talking to the people it's like those closed conference rooms where you can look at different products like like why is it on the ship but at the same time they're going to make this again next year much larger right now it's with 300 people attending and next year they're going to book the entire ship because right now it's just a separate area on it's like a public ferry that's going from Sweden to some part of Finland but next year they're going to to like privately book the entire ship with 1200 people so if you want to attend there then definitely that's going to be a chance I guess we might be back as well we'll see So what would you do here on an event like this at midnight exactly, okay. speed building? So the challenge is you have a set that's already pre-built, so a bundle basically, mainboard, CPU, memory and GPU is sitting inside and you have to replace it as fast as possible. So take out the CPU, take out the memory and take a new set back in. Yes! The previous record like of the entire day was like uh, close to 20 seconds, like 19, like higher 19s. We just did 18.3, so yep, that's the thing where I feel confident going to bed. Next morning. That's definitely a nice view to wake up to. And we are not on the open sea. This is still just, I'm not sure how to say it, but Sweden just contains out of so much water. It's insane. It's uh, very beautiful. All right, I'm uh, ready to go. All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> wow. I guess the challenge for next year will be bend back all the pins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My first question was uh, does it matter if I break everything? And then you, you just pull out the memory sticks. Like that's the, the main thing. Um, and putting them back in is quite difficult because because you have to get them in line. But apart from that, it's like just pull out the memory dims. <laughs> that's the best because otherwise you will if you open up for latches you will easily lose like five seconds I think. And then yeah, that, that's probably the key to go. <laughs> uh, it hurts me I have to uh, give these uh, things back to the companies that borrow it, but uh, that's uh, that's my problem. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! You screw the, the graphics card in! sorry, the floor. Three, two, and shut. Process on a e. Lost it on. Ah, send it there. Draw lines are perfect. They click it here, but done. That was very fast.
Treffen sich zwei Beamte, sagt der eine, na kannst du auch nicht schlafen. Ah. <laughs> Closing in to the end of our journey, the ship is about to, I don't know how this is called in English, but this is like the Viking terminal and we're about to stop there and then we will leave the ship. And then it's almost time to fly back to Germany. One thing you should not miss going to Sweden definitely have to enjoy some meatballs. <laughs> we arrived back in Germany and that's also going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this content which was a bit different from what you've seen previously in the, in the last weeks and also in the, in the last weeks because it was like we saw so many hardware launches and that was also quite exhausting. Even though it's fun to test new stuff, it can also be quite exhausting. A lot of time, a lot of work. So that was a nice getaway, really enjoyed the event. I hope you also enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in, see you next time. Bye bye.